okay so i've got like an hour break uh well i say an hour i did have an hour break um before my next client so i've literally just nipped to morrison's and then i nipped to mcdonald's as well um but i thought i would come on here whilst i've got like a bit of spare time um uh, so i can talk about my like post show because uh, I've had like a lot of questions on like how I'm coping um, is it easier than last time so I thought I would answer and tell you of my experience this time I'm going to be really awkward because everyone's arriving for rugby training and I'm just sat in the car park I've literally just moved my car because the sun was in the way so I probably look like a weirdo moving to the opposite side of the car park just to sit there um because i have just sat here and ate my mcdonald's first um but hey ho um i didn't want to record it and then get home and then the sun was blocking my face i feel like then that would have been a bit pointless and i would have had to record it again anyway um so yes so how am i coping <laughs> So the reason why it's took me so long to do this video is because I feel like I've not actually been in the best of like head spaces to sit down and do it without just bursting into tears, if I'm honest. Um, this one has been so much harder than last time. Um, I'm not too sure why. I feel like maybe it was because I was leaner than what I was last time. Um, so obviously... I've gone to a bit more of the extreme um but I have been struggling um literally from like the first day coming out of um the show I mean I spoke about it a little bit in my last video um but I have struggled with the weight gain this um weighing myself on the scales um the food side of it like um having like self-control um and like trying not to binge still um what else there's absolutely loads um the biggest thing for me is the bloat um i absolutely hate it and i feel like if i didn't bloat so bad then the weight gain and like the numbers on the scales going up wouldn't be so bad um it wouldn't make me feel like i'm overweight because that's how i look at myself um when i'm bloated um i'll look in the mirror um because my belly's bloated i feel like i'm overweight my belly probably doesn't actually look that bloated like if someone was to look at me they probably wouldn't even think i was bloated but to me i'm massive that's just, i know it's in my head but that's exactly how i feel i'm trying to be as honest and like as open as i can um with how i feel and unfortunately i do feel big um I know it's only been it's been what three weeks now since show day so it's still not that long really to like adjust everything because i feel like you have to gain like a new mindset again like for it all um same with like the bulking process like you have to get your head in the right mindset to be okay with like your body changing again um so yes um with like the bloat we know it's because of like the volume of food like my belly's not normally used to that much volume of food um and like the different types of food that i'm having obviously i'm having i'm still trying to so this is the thing guys i am actually still eating like clean food i'm not just like waking up in the morning and going to like mcdonald's for breakfast i've not actually had a mcdonald's breakfast yet um but yeah, I am still eating clean food. Um, we've gone to like maintenance calories, which is 2000 calories for me. Um, it probably is a little bit more now to be fair um, with like my weight slowly going back up. So yes, um, I can't remember what I was saying. Do you know as well, um, in prep, I had like prep brain is what I would call it. I feel like I still have prep brain and Chris would probably tell you that it's 10 times worse. Like sometimes I just zone out still, it's really bizarre um i also had this is very weird that i do want to talk about because i didn't experience this last time um so i was driving to work the other day and i felt really really weird um never felt like it before and i felt like really lightheaded um like i was zoning out when i was driving which not a very good thing is it um and then really like shaky and a little bit sick and then we 
yeah i was driving to work luckily chris was here uh, for anyone that doesn't know chris chris has type 1 diabetes um so he has like his little blood sugar machine with him like all the time i came i said to him i said i feel really weird i went into the toilet then i started like do you know i had a panic attack um well to me it felt like a panic attack I started crying I didn't understand what was going on um, I couldn't breathe properly um, and then Chris I came out of the toilet so Chris was like I feel like you're going glow and I was like what do you mean I'm going glow um, so he tested me on like his blood sugar machine and my sugars were going low it dropped to like 3.2 or something 3.5 maybe which when we've tested me before my normal one is between like 6.5 and 7 so that was quite low for me um so luckily i had some like sugar tablets um sat down had them and then i was fine after that i think i had the panic attack because i wasn't sure why i was feeling the way that i was feeling if that makes sense because i've never experienced that before um but yeah i don't know if anybody else has ever experienced that like coming out of prep um but i thought i'd mention that because i'm trying to think of everything ah so when um so it must have been a week after yeah mm. no it might have been two weeks it might have been actually last week i feel like it was last week maybe but i had a domino's for like the very first time um and the plan was to just uh, order a small pizza so i wasn't getting anything like too big um and then i wasn't like uh, forced to like not forced but like tempted to overeat or anything so the plan was to get a small pizza and then when it came to ordering like half an hour before and i wanted to order the pizza i got like again really anxious about eating pizza um, it was making me feel physically sick um, to the point where I had to go to sleep for an hour because um, I thought I was going to throw up at the thought of eating pizza. Um, so I didn't order it until Chris got home from work um, and I never actually ended up getting a small. I ended up getting the, is it, they call it the personal pizza. It's like the size smaller than a small which I didn't even realise that they did. Um, but I ended up getting that. And I was absolutely fine about it, but I think I just had anxiety about eating pizza and being ill. Um, which again, not a good habit. Um, I do still get anxious sometimes when I eat certain foods. Um, I get very guilty still when I eat certain foods. Uh, we was going out to a restaurant the other day with some of our friends and i tried some outfits on literally for about an hour um and i just stood there and cried um i actually messaged chris and said um because he was at work um i messaged him to say that i wasn't going to this meal anymore i didn't want to go um, because nothing fit me nice i was literally looking at myself in the mirror standing from all directions didn't like the way that i looked um i just thought i looked really overweight um and that my belly was sticking out Please no park next to me. Oh my god, someone's parking next to me. That's really awkward. So yeah, um, I wasn't actually going to go to the meal because um, I just I was so frustrated. Like I couldn't put, I couldn't find an outfit that I actually felt comfortable going out of the house in. Um, and then I was thinking, when I've actually sat down and ate the meal, I'm gonna hate it even more because if I feel uncomfortable now, my stomach is only gonna get slightly bigger. Uh, from the food so yes i did end up going because i just put a baggy jumper on um with some jeans i think i had on and trainers i didn't but that was the other issue as well i didn't want to just go out in a baggy jumper and jeans i did want to like dress up a little bit to make an effort um so it was fine though in the end like i got over it but yeah that was like a proper like little meltdown that i had um wasn't very nice but we're over that that's in the past uh, most recent thing we had a chinese yesterday um for like and i'd been craving a chinese for ages i just really wanted sweet and sour chicken um so we had a chinese and because i still don't ever feel like full at the minute i still feel very hungry um i ate quite a lot um 
I didn't feel anxious though about eating the Chinese. I actually felt really good to be fair about eating the Chinese. So I was like, I am craving a Chinese, get a Chinese in me. Um, so yeah, I had this Chinese. Felt fine, but my belly like expanded loads. Oh my God, they're gonna park directly next to me, aren't they? Ah! I feel like I'm gonna have to like wrap this video up soon because I'm not gonna be able to talk properly because I feel like people are gonna be looking at me. And that's why I'm talking really fast. Um, and have a constant smile on my face because I'm starting to feel really nervous and anxious. Like I said, I want to try and be like as open and honest um, with my experience of coming out of prep because I am a big believer, and I know I said this last time, but I am a massive believer that post-show is harder than prep itself. Um, 10 times harder. Um, it's a different men mental game, I think, coming out of prep. Um, and like I said, it can last, it can last however long it lasts, like there's no like cut off time as to how long it will last. Um, I feel like as well, because me and Chris are going on holiday soon, I tried all my holiday clothes on when I was like bloated, like towards the end of the day, which probably wasn't the best. Um, so that also made me feel awful about myself. Um, because I don't want to go on holiday and be walking around with a massive bloat all the time. I just feel like like for pictures and stuff like that like I won't feel comfortable having photos and I do want loads of photos with me and Chris because it's all about making memories in life um so yeah I do want to feel comfortable um and I also do want to be able to eat what I want to eat on holiday like I don't want to restrict myself whatsoever so I kind of feel like I'm not trying to rush the process of getting like a healthy habit with food again but I am trying to speed it up and maybe that's why I'm struggling a little bit like a girl just staring at me um in the car next to me so I feel like I am gonna have to go in a minute I feel myself going really red and somebody else has just pulled up at the other side of me how fun is this um, I have been on the sunbed today as well so if I look like a little bit burnt that's probably why and these people are just literally staring at me I can feel it I may like I may do like another video maybe like tomorrow or something um, I'll re-watch this um, and then I'll make some notes on my phone because I've not really come prepared I'll make notes on my phone to see if I've like missed anything um, and then add it on and then yeah i could do a little poll to be fair is it a poll um like a little questionnaire thingy on instagram see if anybody else has any specific questions um so yeah so i never actually finished the video the other day so i'm going to finish the video off here the only thing that i did forget to say was about the chinese um so the chinese that we had um so basically i'd had like a really weird day at work where well, I say weird. Um, it was a very, very like busy day at work where I was out the house from like 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. Um, and I had like a two hour gap. Um, so I went to, I think I went to Morrison's. I grabbed some food from Morrison's and then I also went to Costa and grabbed like a meal from Costa. And then after I ate two whole packets of hobnobs whilst being at work and then we had a Chinese that night as well. So you can imagine like my food, um, my belly was already like very full of food um, and processed food. Um, so by the time like, I came to have this Chinese, um, it was probably way too much. So I ended up in like, I think it was like at midnight, um, ran to the toilet because I felt like I was gonna be sick. It was literally just like sat here in my throat. Um, I woke up like with the sweats and everything. And it reminded me of how I felt after my first show when I had the pizza and everything. Um, and it reminded me of that and it completely put me off like overeating. So from then on, I have tried to be better. Um, but that was probably like the only time that I've ate like a stupid amount of food that it's actually made me feel like physically sick. Um, all the other times I have ate quite a lot of food, but it hasn't made me feel like physically sick. So yeah, so that's a bonus. Um, also with the bloating, so I decided to have a break off my contraceptive pill to allow my body to have like the natural period, um, which... I have had <laughs> I don't know if that's too much information but I feel like I have to speak about that being like a female bikini athlete um 
like during prep um i was on my period for like two months straight like no break whatsoever even though i was taking the pill and everything my body was just bleeding constantly for two months which obviously isn't healthy um and then eventually it stopped which i presume is as my food got lower and like my cardio output got higher um it just stopped it so i had i have had a break off my pill um just because i wanted to just before we went on holiday um just to see if that would help with bloating because it is like the lower half of my stomach which obviously is where like your uterus is and everything um so i thought if i have the break off the pill um see if like the natural cycle comes on and it did which is a very like positive thing because i do know like quite a lot of girls struggle um getting their period back for quite a few months after they finish prep so that is a bonus um and my stomach is i feel like more or less back to normal um obviously bloating is normal and i feel like that's not spoken about either enough bloating is like a completely normal thing it is completely normal and it's not normal to always have a completely flat stomach i mean i mean those that are blessed with that are very very lucky um but the majority of us do always have like a slight bloat throughout the day sometimes it's like towards the end of the day um before we go to bed um so yeah so bloating problem is sorted um we reduce like my digestive enzymes and like the activated charcoal stuff basically i'm on like loads of stuff for like my gut health like absolutely loads and we just reduced it slightly uh, um yeah we just reduced it slightly just so that my body is not like uh, relying on that either for um to digest food properly so we reduced that and um, my body's reacted fine to like reducing the amount of like dosage that i'm taking so that's all good news um so yeah i feel like i'm gonna do like a holiday prep now um so i will try and record a few of my sessions um because i'm absolutely loving training at the minute with my strength going up so yeah i'll record a few of my training sessions i might do um what i'm eating in a day um and then i am going to bring you guys on holiday with me i've decided i'm going to take my camera with me and get as many videos as i can um so yeah that'll be fun um but for now that is it um if there are any questions feel free to either shoot me a message over instagram um, or just literally drop them in the comments but yes thank you for watching